what's up YouTube welcome back or welcome to my channel if this is your first time this is my channel pixie dust and spirit alchemy where we talk about all sorts of strange taboo not really strange but like taboo mystical magical occult supernatural uh, paranormal topics stuff like that you might notice guys the different background um, this is sort of an unusual video because I'm staying in a yurt right now so you might hear like the river in the back um, because I'm just in this yurt in the middle of the woods it's an Airbnb uh, and it's actually quite cozy I mean I'm it's a little funny to be recording a video and the main source of light is the ring light that I brought with me to do this video which I'm honestly really glad that I brought because the only other source of light is this little lantern that provides not much light. So that's what this is. Today's video I wanted to make on something I've never talked about or made a video about really which is reasons why to use attack magic and when it is appropriate to use attack magic. Everyone's going to have their own opinion as to when it's appropriate. You know, like, my, what I say isn't law, like, obviously. Um, but it's just, I'm not somebody who uses attack magic for no reason. My reasoning for using attack magic, whatever branch of magic it is, for any reason other than balancing the scales. Sometimes somebody will cause an injustice in our life. So my view on attack magic is when that happens, in whatever circumstance it may be, the scale has been weighed, you know, unbalanced on one side. And, you know, the person causing harm is up here, and you're down here, struggling, suffering, crying, whatever you're doing. And so, when, you're in, when I'm in this situation, using this magic not only creates the change, but gives me a reason to feel like I can do something about it. And when it does work, it rebalances these scales, takes us out of this low point and raises us back up or puts us back to the equilibrium, puts us in equilibrium with our surroundings. And what I love most, what I've come to find that I love most about this attack magic, whether or not it even works, whether or not there's even external results being manifested, what I love most is that it provides a feeling of power. It takes away the feeling of powerlessness. The feeling of not being powerless in any given situation is priceless. Is priceless. And that's regardless of if the magic works or not. But you, it takes away the feeling and the inability to do anything about the situation and instead provides a means of of trying to create change that will benefit you have you know a, a justified reason for using it I believe is when it works best I mean maybe not actually I maybe I just contradict myself because maybe it will work no matter what but as long as we have the emotional reason for using the magic in the first place like if i am angered or enraged or or upset or any sort of negative emotion that needs to be brought into the magic right because magic works with our emotion and and through the ritual whatever ritual we're using or whatever magic we're using there is emotional transmutation going on again just like other magic from the feelings that we feel because of the damage that has been done to us transmuted into the feelings you know that we would feel if the result if and when the result has already happened 
And sometimes attack magic isn't even causing an attack to somebody else or hurting somebody else. Sometimes it is. Sometimes it is. But sometimes it's just getting it away from you and taking that energy or that circumstance or situation out of your life so that you can resume, you know, your normal state of being, whatever that may be. I think it can also be spoken about that attack magic is best used, like a lot of magic, strategically. Not to necessarily just like shoot fire shots at somebody, you know, figure speech, but but to make that person, depending on what book you're using and depending on the magic, like make them unable to um, to catch on that you're even doing magic in the first place or inconvenience them rather than just harm and destroy. And I feel like then it's more likely for the magic to work because you're not just depending on one ritual to fuck this person's life up, you know? But you're using a strategy to cause different forms of mayhem or whatever in their life. Also, another important thing to say is I think protection magic for yourself, just whether or not you're being magically attacked, is important to, to practice for any occultist because you're messing with these unseen forces and the deeper that you get into the occult, the more people you meet. And you never know. Not everybody, you know, not everybody has good intentions. So it's important to protect ourselves regardless. And sometimes the best offense is a good defense. And then at other times, the best defense is a good offense. It just depends on the situation. Always be smart when using magic. Always believe that it's going to work, even if it doesn't. Think of the consequences when using attack magic of what, what you're wanting to happen and what could potentially happen. I mean, not, not in predicting the outcome of how the magic is going to work, but if you have a, a targeted, you know, or, or, or a topic or a focused ritual that you're doing, you know, the ritual... Obviously, you're going for a certain result, so keep that in mind. Because if something bad were to happen, then you have to, like, deal with that. I really just wanted to make this because I don't think it's wrong to use attack magic. Because not only do you have the chance to rebalance the scales, but you remove yourself from that feeling of powerlessness. And as I said before, that is a priceless feeling. Because we are not powerless. Really ever. But be smart about it. Or just do what you want. I mean, that's, I like to be smart about it. <laughs> Protect yourself, too. And don't worry about, like, the karma. If you're worried about karma, you shouldn't be if you're using the magic to rebalance the scales. Karma, I would say, only comes into play if I'm doing something for an unjustified reason. If I'm attacking somebody for an unjustified reason. Just like picking a physical fight with somebody. You know, if I punch somebody first for no reason, why did I do that? Like, you know, then I'm going to get backlash. Then there are repercussions. And then maybe bad karma. Like, the person's probably going to punch me back. So the laws of magic are not so unsimilar to just, like, the physical laws of the third dimension. They just exist in a different dimension. It's nice to not feel powerless. It's a good feeling. So guys, thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you've made it all the way till the end, um, thank you for joining me in my yurt today. <laughs> if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Or subscribe to my channel if you are not already subscribed. As always, stay kind, stay curious, Stay smart, and until next time, peace.